right tuning for the guitar, so I also want to add something really special. Um, the main thing about the cry tuning, at least for me as a player, is um, that the guitar feels much more natural to me, much more like it should. You know, you know that feeling when you buy a new guitar; it's a little bit stiff here and there. And, and once you get um, get to know an old guitar, you got to, you, you feel an old guitar, the neck, and you feel it vibrating. Um, it's really different from a new guitar. So this was a new guitar and it was excellent by the way. It was a great guitar. Feels pretty good, but very new, obviously. Um, and also the response of the strings are a little bit you know not very fast. Um, the attack wasn't that great. But after the tuning it really, really was way better. You know, it was m more equal on the whole fretboard, it, then all notes are in the same balance. So if you strike a chord, you can hear every voice. Very clear, very articulate in, in the highs and the presence, um, and the bass is a lot more tighter. So, and the funny thing, which I couldn't believe at first, was how the instrument feels. You know, from the from the tension of the strings. Um, I once got a student, and he tried the cry guitar, and he said, "What do you do? It uh, where you're putting nines on?" <laughs> and I said, "No, no, no, just tens." But the string tension is different. Something something happened. I mean, uh, it was getting very cold, so something should happen. As you see on the lacquer, lacquer, it's not on in the normal case. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get it like this. It's just because, and basically, it was my fault because um, the builder of the guitar, Courage Guitars, which are fantastic guitars, um, said, "Please wait another three weeks because I, I need to put another coat of lacquer." But it was my fault because I, oh, please, please, uh, just send the guitar. It doesn't matter, and that was the fault. And Jörg Walter, who did the um, George Forrester, who did the um, cry tuning, said that. You know, um, it it would be it would have been nicer if the like a, there was another coat coating. So um, in the normal case, it would look like you can see this like more like this. You know, so nothing really happens. Just um, it looks more like an old guitar. So anyways, this will not be the last guitar I cry to because I really, really, really can't stress enough. You have to try because it's it's a feel thing. It's I think it's more a feel thing than a sound thing, actually, because um, on recordings it's it's hard. You know, you have to you have to really be in the room and, and feel the sound, like when you test an amp. You know, just you have to be in the same room and feel the energy of the guitar and yourself. Okay, so let me know your thoughts and see you next time. Bye bye.